Ask Tom on Home Show. Hope from Richmond, Texas has some calcium concerns. Well, concerns? She says that it's so bad in her neighborhood, Tom, that it that it's eating and pitting everything it touches. Hope writes to us, we replaced several water heaters and faucets and so on due to this buildup and, and I don't want a softener due to the feeling of never getting the soap off. I've heard that one before, haven't you? She says, yes. that said, Aquatex, the one you recommended, um, because they have your, they say you have their system and I know you do. I have it too for the same reason. That's he awesome. said, my questions, Hope writes, is one, do you feel like the soap is not washing off? Two, does their non-electricity driven motor cause a slower water flow? That's a new one. Three, did your water bill increase dramatically? I've heard regeneration increased water bills. And four, calcium is my main concern. I don't want it eating new appliances and faucets and stuff. Will the softener help with that? All right, Tom, take it. Got four. Let's start with the last one. Uh, you have calcium. The only way to get rid of it is a water softener, period. You've got to get a water softener. Once you get the right one, and we're going to go down that road here in a minute, you will never go back to not having it. Number two is the water bill. The reason the water bills go up on a lot of water softeners is they run off a timer, and they have it regenerate once a week, and it just regenerates and regenerates all the time, and it wastes a whole lot of water. With the Aquatex one or the Kinetico line of water softeners, there's a gear in there. And as the water moves through, the gears move. And it, it knows exactly how much water you used. It knows exactly how it's set, when it's supposed to regenerate. And so it regenerates a lot less. I can tell you that firsthand, which means it uses a lot less salt too. And it does not uh, impede the water flow whatsoever. Just mark that off as non-existent. Now, here's the last comment I want to make. You say, oh, it feels like that there's still soap on my skin. People say it all the time because it feels different. And when you get out without a water softener, you have all the calcium, the hardness, and the soap that you used on your skin, and it's squeaky clean. You know why? Because your pores are clogged up with calcium, with minerals, and with soap uh, uh, deposits that did not rinse off. That's the feeling you're having. When you have that, what we call that silkier, smoother feel, that means you have no soap on your skin. So whether you like the feel or not, I do understand, but I want you to understand that when you have the silky feel, it is a cleaner feel. It's why it cleans better. And that's why soaps like in your dishwasher soften water so the dishes not only get uh, uh, the the hot water you know cleans them up real well but the water itself does all the cleaning the soap just makes the water soft so it doesn't leave all those spots and res residue mm -hmm. bits behind so that's what you got to think about with soap and i will tell you this if you get one that doesn't regenerate all the time that regenerates only when it's supposed to that feeling is going to be a lot different with a Kinetico than it is with the ones that are put in poorly because it is those that are regenerating all the time will give you that over weird feel that slimier feel and that's right. why people have not ever liked it yeah i and i had one by a major manufacturer once upon a time and it mm -hmm. was it was it was kind of slimy and then but i mm -hmm. have the kinetico one you're right tom it, the water it's different it it, it feels i'll tell you what the other thing is is that when you cook with that soft water things taste better too Oh. It, 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 I was cooking my K5, but okay. Well, I'm no, that. and I was you just, take that's... the calcium and stuff out; it makes sense. Well, All yeah, that but hardness. when and and actually, you know, one of my favorite places here on the west side of Houston, Bagel Bob's, he uses soft water to do spring water to do his oh. bagels because just like in New York, you want a good pizza. That's why because they have naturally soft water up there. But they do. I, I lived in New York and it's all naturally soft. Right, That's what right. makes the pizza hey, better. Hey, buzz on. You want a pizza, right? Hey, you're um, right. But, Never but thought of that. If you want, and I was going to say that's the other piece of it. If she's going to get this water softener, it's almost like the the second act of that is to go ahead and get that reverse osmosis um, oh, yeah. drinking water station. And maybe you you can explain the benefit of doing that. Well, there's calcium in all, all those deposits. I, you take me back to the pizza in New York. You're right uh, about the soft water. I didn't think about it with bagels, though. It would work, too. A as far as uh, the reverse osmosis, it takes things out like pesticides, uh, uh, chemicals from fertilizers, 
all these different things that in our world we live in today, you have things in there that you really don't want, as well as the iron and, and on the other stuff that so you're not drinking it, you're just drinking water. But it's those other chemical type things that water softeners don't take out. But if you're not drinking it, you don't have to worry too much. But the chlorines, the pesticides, the fungicides, the mildicides, I can go on and on, the fertilizers, that all gets taken out too. So that way your body is cleaning itself and your liver's not cleaning the water you put in it. All right. We Dr. want you Tom. to be healthy because we want you to be around, and that's why Tom likes to help people keep them healthy. Click on that blue ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com if you want to get us to answer your question. We'll do it with a, you can ask us with a video, you can write us a question like Hope did, and uh, you can send us pictures, and that would help. I, I, I have had those calcium deposits, and we just put in a glass shower, and I'm here to tell you, Tom. There are no, there's no water spots in our shower anymore because we have that water softener. So it's, yeah, it's I don't a deal great investment. Either. I can't, yes. I will never live without another one. I'll just say this about that. And you're right about the Connecticut one. I don't mean to turn into a, a commercial and try to compete with you for endorsing a product, but I will tell you that that it. Connecticut, not only was it good, but when we had that big bad freeze, people with cheaper ones were replacing tanks and my tanks <laughs> made it through just fine. Just saying. Mine did too. My tanks right. did. You want to get through... Like this, we'd love to hear from you as well, Tom. And I post a new one of these every day at Home Show um, Facebook page, uh, the Home Show Radio uh, YouTube channel, and of course at homeshowradio.com.